Today, I'm going to show you how you can switch to Google Analytics for step by step so you can keep all the data that you need. And if you're not quite ready to give up Universal Analytics data just yet until they finally sunset it in 2023, then I'll show you how you can set up dual tracking so you can continue to use Universal Analytics while also having GA4 data starting to accumulate over the next few months. So let's dive in. And let us know in the comments below, are you excited about GA4 coming? So first thing we want to do is head over to our Google Analytics dashboard. You want to log in with your Google Analytics account. You want to head down to click on admin and you should be on the property that you want to create the GA4 account on. So once you click on admin, then you see this little area of GA4 setup assistant. That's what we want to click on. And from here you get two options. You can create a new property or connect to an existing one. If this is the first time you're doing it, then we're going to click on, I want to create a new J4 property and we'll click get started. Now we'll see this pop-up that talks about all of the J4 information. Let's go ahead and click create property. And then the setup wizard will add the new J4 property and copy the universal analytics property name, the website URL as everything. And we'll append it with J4 so you'll know which one you're working in. Now we need to click on the see your J4 property button so we can get the tracking code. And then once we get that, we can click on tag installation so we can get the code here. From here, you can see the measurement ID. I'll show you how you can set it up with your WordPress website. But as soon as you look into this, you see that the reports are quite different than the old ones. They've introduced new terminology. Many of our familiar metrics aren't here anymore. There's a lot of things missing. Basically, if you're used to common reports, like say the top landing pages report or anything like that, there's a lot of differences with this. And that's why we're going to recommend using Monster Insights to connect everything. We recommend using the Monster Insights Pro version if you're heavy into e-commerce analytics or any other type of deeper analytics that you want. But even the free version is going to get you so much farther with this. So we're going to set this up on our site. So what we want to do is add Monster Insights to our WordPress website. So we'll head over to our WordPress website. Let's go to Plugins, Add New. And we want to search for Monster Insights. Like I said, there are also premium versions. You can do custom dashboard reports. You can do email summaries, scroll tracking, e-commerce tracking, premium integrations. But if you're just wanting to get started and get everything set up, then we can just go through with the light version. So this is the one we want. Let's go ahead and install it and activate it as well. Once it's activated, there will be a wizard that will go through and ask you a few things about your website so you can go through that. And then we want to connect Monster Insights. From here, you just click on the property and then give it permissions to connect your account. From the drop down, you want to make sure that you click on the analytics property that you just set up. And now we'll be headed back to Monster Insights Setup Wizard and we can complete the connection. Finally, they'll give us some additional suggestions for our site. You can either choose to do that or just move on. Once we're set up with everything, we can click save and continue. And then finally, we can finish everything out. Now you have Google Analytics set up to your website, but let's set up a couple of other things. So we want to create a measurement protocol API secret. That's a lot of words to mean that if you want Monster Insights to track e-commerce purchases, form conversions, you want to do advanced tracking at any point in time, then you'll want to create the measurement protocol API. So we need to head back over to our GA4 analytics. We'll go to admin and click on data streams. From here, we can click on this area. We want to scroll down. We're looking for measurement protocol API secrets. We'll click on that. We need to review the terms to acknowledge that we've read them. And once you do that, you can create an API secret. You can give it a name and click create. Now we have the secret value, so we can copy this and head back over to our dashboard to add it to Monster Insights. And we want to make sure we go to Monster Insights, Settings, make sure you're under General. And we want to scroll down to we get to the Measurement Protocol API secret, and then we can just right click and paste that in there. Once we've pasted it, make sure you scroll up to click Save Changes. And I'd love it if you share in the comments. Let us know, is there a popular analytics report that you're seeing in GA4 that all of us should be using? 
And now you have GA4 set up. But what if you want to continue to use Universal and GA4 at the same time? This is called dual tracking and Monster Insights allows you to do that. So what we want to do is we need to head back over to our analytics. We set up GA4, so we need to grab the UA or Universal Analytics code in order to add that to Monster Insights. So we want to go to our Google Analytics and we're probably under the GA4 because we just set that up. So we need to go back to our Universal Analytics property. And once it's on our old property, we want to go to admin, property settings, and we'll grab our tracking ID. Highlight that and copy it. Head back over to our dashboard. Go to settings. Under general, you want to scroll down to see dual tracking profile. And from here, we want to add our UA code. So I'm going to right click and paste it in there. Then we can scroll up and click save changes. And if you're looking for more analytics solutions for your website, watch this video next as we cover 11 best analytics solutions for your WordPress website. And I'll see you over there.